Just recording. Hey, hey, what's up, guys? This is Justin from Justice League Swag, and today we have a deck profile for our ARG Merlin winner, uh, Brent. And he also came in third at the DMV Cup with this deck. How y'all doing today? For stars, I'm going to uh, start off with my grade zero, which is Draco Kid, Gunrunner Draco Kid. It's a normal base starter for Gear Chronicle. Counter Blast 1, moving the soul, search deck for a grade 3 on Generation Break 1. On the trigger lineup, I run 4 heals. 1, 2, 3, 4. 8 crit. And 4 draw. It's just your normal basic lineup. Okay, for the <clears throat> grade 1s. I run four of the Steam Breath Dragons. Basic Stride Enabler or dump, and dump for a Chrono Jet Dragon. Next I run four of the uh, Unflip PGs. Since I do go through a lot of Counter Blasts, it's nice to be able to replenish them. Next I run two Gear Wolves. This is just a personal tech for me. Sometimes they're on the field, a lot of times I don't have them on the field, but it's great when they become at least 10, 10k boosters or more. I run one GG. Since I have, since I like to use all resources in my deck and I need something to use soul, so this, is, this allows me to use my soul for draw power. And also it's a great combo with a Fate Rider and also a Upstream Dragon. And then to round off, the grade one lineup, I run three Steam Fighters Uranins. Their skill is on Generation Break 1, whenever I remove a rear guard back to the bottom of my opponent's deck, I get to counter charge one. So it helps with me unflipping my counter blasts. Okay, my grade two lineup. I'm going to start off with two Glimmering Breath Dragons. Really good 11k attacker if, if I put something. Uh, if I remove them from the field. Next, I run four upstream dragons. Their skill is on generation break one, give them plus 4k. And at the end of the battle, which they attack the vanguard, put him at the bottom of your deck and search for a grade one and put it at rest. Next, I run three steam, steam fighter ambers. Uh, generation break one when he's boosted, counter plus one, put some put an opponent's rear guard at the bottom of their deck. More more just basic, basic field control. And one of my one of the cards that I played around with didn't have it during the Dynasty Cup, but I sided in for the ARG, which is Steam Knight Calibum. His skill is non generation break. As soon as he's played on the field, target one of your opponent's rear guards. Then they search their deck for a rear guard of one grade lower. So a lot of times I like to target everybody's starter. Since the starters nowadays do so much, so much, this allows me to control that. Now for my grade three lineup, I run Steam Fighter 4, Steam Fighter Bomb. Really good backup to Chrono Jet when you stride over him on your during your main phase. You can counter blast one and change your heart into a Chrono Jet, or when he's on rear guard. When his attack hits the vanguard, I can counter blast one and remove another rear guard. Okay, and for the boss of the deck, four Chrono Jet Dragons. His skill is very self explanatory. Uh, on stride, counter blast one, scoop something from the field onto the bottom of their deck, or on generation break two, when he attacks, he gets plus 5k and no ones or higher can guard him. Okay, and now for the stride deck, I run one inter interdimental beast upheaval Pegasus. Uh, skill is when it's placed on Vanguard, your opponent scoops their field and then replaces it off the top of their deck with the number of cards that were put into the, put into the deck. Next, I run two Fate Rider Dragons. Fate Rider Dragon skill is choose one of your rear guards. Put it at the bottom of your deck, get one grade higher than the card you put back, and then 
for every car that's flipped up in your G zone, give plus 3K on your field. Next, I run one interdimensional inter dragon epoch maker dragon. Basically, I use him as my first stride, usually to get about get out of fourth attack. His skill is when on stride or when he attacks, I can uh, attack one vanguard, bind a unit, and then replace it with a grade three if he hits. So it play puts a lot of early pressure for that fourth attack. Next, I run two. Riding the Clock Dragons. Very, very clutch card in a couple of my matches uh, in the last two weeks. Mostly because of the guard manipulation and the additional crit. And last but not least, next stage. The Breach Sandy Vanguard that Gear Chronicle has. That's basically it. I mean, there's not much you can say to him. He's usually my win condition. Which is counter blast, you know, when your Vanguard attacks, counter blast one, unflip a copy, discard three, and you ride back into your Chrono Jet, dra uh, Chrono Jet Dragon. So it automatically enables his Chrono Jet's uh, generation break two, and also allows you to get another drive check. Alright, guys, thank you for watching, and please like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Brent with Just Sleek Swag. Y'all have a great weekend.